What's up everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Ross McFarlane coming to you from Agency 3980 and in this video what we're going to be doing is looking at the introduction and first review of the native advertising platform called Evidav. So as you can see here I'm on the main dashboard and a few things that I want to be looking for when looking at a direct native advertising platform is what type of traffic that they run what type of bidding models do they run? What type of verticals suit the uh, this ad exchange? Because um, I want to know whether I want to run my offers. I might be in a particular niche. So I want to know that. And I also want to know if they have dedicated account managers to help me with my native advertising campaigns. Now, before I jump right in, and just in case this is your first time on the channel, and if it is, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you get notified each and every time that we post a video. But what I thought I would do is I would show you exactly what a native ad actually is. So what we'll do is we'll head over to a website here which is called the Gateway Pundit. Now, what this is is just like a news website where there's lots of news articles and stuff. People come here to read news articles just like they would newspapers. Obviously, every, everything's going online these days. And a native ad is designed to blend in with all of these articles. So what we'll see here is we've got lots of news articles here, lots of news articles. So the reader will just be looking through, looking through some news articles, maybe scrolling down here. And what you'll see here is just a little thing here that says advertisement. And these images here are all ads. And these are sponsored by an ad exchange called Rev Content. So these are blending in with the, with all these news articles. So if I was a user, I would be thinking to myself, well, oh, Dr. Stunned looks, do this every evening to lose your weight. And I'm assuming this is going to take me through to a one-click um, VSL lander, which it's not, it's actually an advertorial. So here, when I got onto this advertorial, what the reader is doing is you're using the authority of the Gateway Pundit website. So they're still on here thinking that they're reading the news article when really... Chances are, probably, I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to find uh, an offer, an, an offer link. Yep, I am. Here we go. Here, here's an offer that would take me through to this um, offer page of this uh, weight loss product. So cool. I'm not going to click on that um, just in case the affiliate running this <laughs> is. Uh, what I don't want to pay for that. Uh, pay for that click and cost them some money. So now, you, now that we know what a native ad is, let's take a look at. Evidav, the native advertising platform, and see what they have to offer. So let's take a look. So they have different types of traffic. They've got uh, in-page push native. So we're looking at native. Let's take a look here. So yeah, just some basic stuff, seamless integration with site content. That's just basically what you get with most uh, traffic sources. Here we go here, advertiser, which is what we are. So grow fast and scale up, promote your products via portfolio, tens of thousands of websites, premium publishers, which is sounding good. Would like to know what they are though. Um, which is maybe a con, we want to know which publishers that they're actually promoting, um, uh, which actually run on this network. So that's cool. Um, seen here, they've got a, promoting here, they've got a spend smartly, only pay for traffic that works. Okay, cool. That'll be something that we can dive into a little later. Um, admin panel. So this would be publishers. We are not a publisher. We are an advertiser. Quick and easy registration, campaign setup and approval. Try it now. Track all your stats and trends in real time. High-end algorithms for bidding, tracking campaigns, performance, and conversions. Instant access for 24 hour, 24 hour, seven days a week, live client care, chat, dedicated account manager, which is great. That's one thing that we've just established with this network, that they're offering a dedicated account manager, which is absolutely critical when running native advertising campaigns, especially... If you are a beginner, you want that account manager to help you out with as much as possible. Um, building a relationship with your account manager can help so much, especially when you're just getting started out. For applying things like whitelists, blacklists, campaign insights, and all these different types of things. So here we can see that this advertising platform are actually offering an account manager, which is great. So that's one uh, pro for those guys. And then here it's telling us the daily, uh, daily impressions, the amount of publishers that they have and the advertisers that they have. So this was the amount of campaigns. Let's see what else we've got here. Blog, um, questions. Yeah, so it's just live chat and stuff. Cool, so that's about that. So I did just sign up for these like literally about five minutes ago and it, this just takes you into this platform here. 
which is in the main dashboard. So what I want to know is, is how much traffic that they've got. So let's go and take a look down here, what we've got. Volumes of traffic, cool. So push, we are running native. Great, there's one more thing that we've established with this platform is that they, the bidding model that they run. So they're running CPC and CPM. So CPC, you're paying for each click on your image. CPM, you're paying for 1,000 impressions. So each impressions. So both uh, work differently. I would say CPM is more beginner. Um, but yeah, probably more beginner. Um, it's like equal to equal distribution of traffic, so that probably suits a beginner uh, a lot more. I'll just close this little thing here. And um, so this is good. So this is telling me the amount of traffic and the geos that this traffic is in. And it's also telling me the bid floor and it's telling me the recommended bid to get on those premium sites that they probably talk about here, which was here to get on these premium publishers. It's telling me the... Um, it's telling me the recommended bid to get on those premium publishers and all this actually looks quite cheap for the United States. Um, and yeah, anything below, yeah, anything probably on page three or four is probably not enough traffic to run run a campaign. And also it's given me like one million impressions you'd want to be looking for. Anything under half a million impressions daily, like it just wouldn't even touch. It's just not enough reach for scalability. And then it's given me CPC as well. So it's given me CPC of ads CPC. Cool. So same thing. It's given me the recommended CPC. It's given me the bid floor, and it's also given me the recommended CPC as well, which is cool. Oh yeah, it's just loaded now. Uh, so yeah, here's the bid floor for the CPC, and here is the recommended bid. So this is what you'd be paying for for your click on the image. Again, the United States looks quite cheap for tier one. Um, doesn't look like it's got. Um, oh yeah, it's uh, measuring clicks here, not impressions um so cool uh so now we've established that we've established that we get an account manager we've established that they've got enough traffic and now we've established that they've got the two types of bidding models so let's go ahead and look at it's creating a campaign and let's see how easy that's going to be so let's take a look at creating a campaign create campaign campaign name let's just say example test and we want to run on a native ad now so it's given us the, the different type of bidding model that we want to run. So I'm going to pick CPM for this. Uh, campaign group, none. Not quite sure what that is. I would have to ask the account manager which, what that is. Campaign group. Target URL. So that's going to be your campaign URL if you're using a tracker or just your destination URL. So that would be either your pre-lander or if you're direct linking, just using a direct link. And here's all your tokens for adding in any tracking that you want. Frequency capping. This is going to be something that's dependent on you and your campaign. So I would say I would normally like to do, if I was running on a whitelist, I would probably say something like two impressions per day, daily, per person, because I don't want to have image burnout on my whitelist. But if I'm running on a run of network or a blacklist, I would maybe up that to six, potentially even eight, depending on the reach of, of the campaign. Um, this is, again, something that you can, um, you can, consult with your account manager, which is awesome that you, you have an account manager for these. Um, conversion post back, so this would be something that you would just put in your tracker. If using this tracker, you just pop that back in your tracker so you can track conversions in this network. Not necessary, but a great thing to have. Automated rules, cool. So let's see what we've got here. Automated rules for zone or source. So let's take a look at source. Cool, so this is for something that's maybe a little bit more advanced. Um, maybe you're running campaigns and you're not actively within your desktop or within your laptop the whole day and you want to switch off certain placements and stuff uh, after a certain amount of rules. Us at the agency, we have certain rules for each and every single step of the process of a campaign, so it completely takes away any emotional decisions at all uh, when coming to media buying, which is what media buying is. It's all data-driven decisions. So I could say, for example, here, um, if one source has clicks of greater than, say, 100, I'll just say 100 clicks, and it's within, had that over five days, then I can turn that source off. Um, I'll just delete that there, but I'm just showing you that that has the option. So cool, this is the creative side here, adding in our creative. So the title description has given me 80 characters, which is quite long, which is um, good. I always think the more characters I have, the more compelling my ad copy can be. And images here is for uploading our creative, which is what we just seen here, which would be this part. So your headline part would be, 
this part here and the creative would be this part here and each R exchange, like I said, this one has rev content, each R exchange has its own uh, dimensions. So there's the minimum dimensions there for this R exchange. Uh, countries, so I'd want to go, let's see in the United States, United States, let's just go there, United States of America and the bid. It's telling me here the minimum bid, bid floor starts at under a cent, five cents, and the max is three dollars. So cool. So, and this is in CPM, so I'd start at the bid floor, or I could start the recommended bid 30 cents, which is quite cheap in the US. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just start at the bid floor. So we'll just take, see if that works. Recommended bid, yeah, cool. 30 cents, that's cool. So I can include or exclude cities and stuff, um, and I'll just move myself out of the way here. Just move myself out of the way to look at targeting an audience. Devices, so this would be specific to you. Desktop, we'll just run with desktop. Operating systems, I would leave all that in and optimize later within my tracker. Um, OS versions, again, that would be for mobile operating systems. Desktop, I wanna leave that in. Browsers. Again, I would leave all these in unless uh, my account manager said to me that there was some dodgy traffic, which hopefully there isn't. Then I would to, uh, remove that there and we just consult with them. Uh, I said I'm targeting the US, so I'd be looking at English as my language. Connection type, connection type, I'd leave that as all. Mobile all, so I'd leave that as all. And uh, whitelist or blacklist. So this would be consulting with your account manager. Most most times when you get started with a network, they're probably going to say you to run on a blacklist. If they're dishing a whitelist to every single new affiliate that just joins their program, you're going to have a lot of affiliates targeting the same placements. So they're probably going to assign you a blacklist. You build up that relationship with the account manager and over a period of time, what would happen is they would start giving you better placements and better insights. So this would probably be a blacklist and then I could upload that supplied by those guys. Time scheduling. Um, so this would be... The way we like to teach at the agency, we run on 24 hours a day and what would happen is over a period of spending, over a period of time, if we find that conversions are happening, say, from only, say, 7 a.m. to, say, 8 p.m. at night, we would then just time schedule, but we would give this enough conversions, again, part of the rules that I suggested earlier. And um, so this could be something that you might want to add. Maybe you're running in a tier two country and your call center is only open from, say, 8 a.m. in the morning to, say, 7 p.m. at night. You only want to run on those times. So it's giving your, your opt-ins a chance to be called by the call center and it's not leaving to the next day. And then advertising limit, launch an advertising campaign immediately after moderation. No, I don't want that. I want it to go into, I want it to go into uh, moderation. And then just create. Cool, so that'll be it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, this introduction into the native advertising platform Evadav. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more videos from us and our agency, all to do with affiliate marketing, specifically native ads, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the little bell icon so you get notified each and every time that we post the video. And if you do want to know more about us and our agency, whether we can help you with your native advertising, because we run coaching programs, courses, consulting, anything from beginner, just getting started, all the way up to really, really high spenders, talking hundreds, hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of dollars per month, then I'll leave a little link in the description below. Other than that, Thanks very, very much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.